What's going on guys, it is Taiko White here for a box opening of Trial Deck. No idea which, uh, what number it is. Oh, TD15, Seeker of Hope. I got two of these today, I already opened one and looked through it, so I basically know what's going on here. Let's read up this for you today. Yeah, most people are doing a lot of G stuff today, but I am planning on building Seekers. Nothing that they have right now is out in G really interests me, except I'm probably going to build a Neo Nectar once they come out. Just because I have a lot of fun with that trial deck. It's really fun to play with me. For me. But like the Seekers and Brawlers. And the newer Liberators. I want to run that stuff. Because it just seems like it will be really fun to use. So let's get into this. Alrighty. Ah, why do they have to make things so hard to get it to? Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so in here we are going to have a playbook, teach you all the rules and such things that I hope I already know, <laughs> I would assume so. Starter's Guide, uh, just really, really quick, easy, obvious tutorial, just get it over quickly, comes with a playmat, just get your phases on it. It's gonna look something like this. Look something like that. Now we got your Vanguard Circle, Rear Guards, Drop Zone, Damage Zone, stuff like that. But no one cares about these things, probably. Now onto the deck. A lot of people don't know there's actually a little thing around right here. If I can find it. Yeah, I think it's on the side. Yeah, or I could just go old-fashioned knife way. That is always the best way. I just don't want to mess with the cards. There it is. There's like a little strap around it that's holding it together. It's a lot easier to just kind of get that and rip it, rip it off the thing. And then the, basically everything just kind of slides off. Makes the whole thing a lot easier, less complicated. So we're going to go through this, tell you what all you get. Kind of tell you some good card combinations stuff like that. This is one of the first trial deck. Actually, this is technically by number is the first trial deck to have Legion. So we're gonna focus this camera here, and it's gonna start off with Blaster Blade Seeker. There's like freaking fifty shades of Blaster Blade. So many of them. Totally not a joke that the uh, card fetish United gets. Hui hui, hui hui. No. Okay. But it's just, you know, standard Blaster Blade. Counter Blast 1 when this unit is placed on the rear guard. If you have a Vanguard with Seeker in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's grade 2 or greater rear guards and retire it. And it is part of a Legion with actually friggin' a billion different cards. Everybody loves Blaster Blade. Everybody wants some of that Blaster Blade action. Next, you get one of the Legion pairs for Blaster Blade Seeker Sacred Wingle. Our old pal Wingle's on a couple of steroids. Well, he legions with Blaster Blade Seeker, and he gets, when this unit is legion, search your deck for grade 2 or greater card with Seeker in its card name. Call it to rear guard, shuffle your deck. And it's non-legion vanguard skill. When this unit attacks a vanguard, this unit gets plus 2,000 until the end of that battle. And it's got a nice, uh, it's got its nice legion artwork with Blaster Blade Seeker. Let me look close. Uh, you have to see the full thing like this. And there we go. That's good enough. Ah, that's, you, you you get it right. You you understand? Basic concept. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it comes with uh, one each of those. Now moving on to the other legion in the set, Seeker or Sec eh, Secret Sword Seeker. This freaking tongue twister, Vortigern. It is the uh, basically just the common legion for this, which is a t basically a 27k beater, because whenever it is in legion and it attacks a vanguard, it gets plus 5,000. And whenever it's already non-legion, it gets plus 2... Oh, no, that's just a rear guard effect. My bad, my bad. But yeah, it's basically just 25k beater. And if you have it, just in, it can be a 12k beater from the side, if you want it to. It, this deck comes with two copies of that. I guess it's just a decent card if you don't have better stuff. Why is there a penny in here? Dude, there's a there's a penny in my knife. Frick. Frick, man. What's going on with that? 
Uh, and then you get four copies of basically this deck's Jungle Lord Dragon, as you guys know I enjoyed saying that. But it's just Counter Blast 1 plus 3,000 to the end of turn. That is so nice. Now we're moving on to the Grade 2s for the deck. Natural Talent Seeker Volrod. It is the 10k Vanilla Grade 2 for the uh, Seekers. I think this is the only Seeker Grade 2 like that, but I know there's a ton of Gold Paladin or Royal Paladin ones like Galatine and stuff like that. But it's got a, uh, you know, just Standard 10k Attacker, and of course you get four copies. Now, moving on. Full Bloom Seeker Cedric uh, actually is not, I believe, the Legion for. Yep, it is not the Legion for uh, Valrod. It is just a uh, randomly thrown in there. When it's unit attacks, you have a Vanguard with Seeker in his card name. It gets plus three thousand at the end of that battle. Card that I actually will be using when I make this deck myself is Prov Provocation Seeker Blue Blue Mental. When this unit attacks, your vanguard is legion. This unit gets plus 4,000 until the end of that battle, which makes it a 12k beater with intercept, which I like from the rear guard. So yeah, it'll be just a nice card to have out there. Comes with four copies of this card. Next we have the Blade Gall Seeker, which is the special interceptor for the Seekers, and he got two copies of that. Whenever this unit intercepts, it gets plus 5,000 guard power to the end of that battle. So yeah, special intercepts, they're nice, they're nice. Seeker Youthful Mage, the uh, card that comes in every structure deck. You get Counterblast, gets plus 1,000. Not that great, in my opinion, but I guess it could be useful depending on how you play it. Uh, when this unit attacks, you have Vanguard with Seeker in its card name, gets plus 3,000. So early, nice card to use, I guess. A lot of these structure deck cards aren't that great compared to the uh, the newer structure decks. That's why I like them so much better. Four copies of that. His name is Honest Seeker Cineric. Now, Righteous Seeker Gargarin. Uh, it's a good card to have an early game rear guard. It's a uh, plus 2,000 whenever it attacks a vanguard. So just 9k beater. A card I will be using, actually, in my deck when I make this is Seeker Rune Eagle. When this unit boosts a vanguard, if your vanguard is Legion, the boost... this... I'm such a failure. The boosted unit gets plus 4,000 till the end of that battle. So, 10k booster for any Legion cards, which is uh, really nice since uh, it's basically going to be a Legion deck. So, I bought two of these structure decks. I'm going to have four of this, but the deck itself comes with two copies. Uh, moving on to your starting vanguard for this, the one no one ever uses, your 6k vanilla grade 0 Bravery Seeker Mark. Someone totally just didn't come in here and knock everything over. That's not what happened. You're sadly mistaken. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. No, just, just sadly mistake it. Uh, yeah, no one's gonna use this. I have, uh, I'm gonna be using a different starting vanguard, and I gotta fix it. So professional. I'm so good at this. So good at this. Yeah, I'm probably just throwing it away. I can go away forever. For crit, for stand, or for draw, my bad. For stand, and for heal. Rainbow triggers. So yes, guys, that'll be it for today's video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you have anything that you want to tell us, any feedback, ways you think I could do this better. Leave it down in the comment section below. Maybe suggestions for videos, matches you want to see, or deck profiles. I'll make sure to see what happens. But uh, come back next time, guys. It's been Taco White here on Team Card Fighters United. Peace out.